Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again and today we are going to start most awaited uh, tutorial series and which will be Mocha Pro. Yes, you have requested many time please start Mocha Pro series and from this video we are going to start our Mocha series. So this series will be a beginner series and that will be 101 Mocha 101 and in this series we are going to start with scratch and uh, we will see how we can use Mocha as per industry standard. So without any delay, let's start the video. Okay, so whenever you will start Mocha, uh, this welcome window will come and here if you're new, you can just check what's new uh, manual you can watch and if you want to start your project, just hit on start. So what will happen? This kind of interface will come. We will see one by one how we can do that. This main area is called working area. Here we have a layer panel where you can arrange all your layers and any properties related to selected layers we will be adjusting over here and if any selection or any shape we are having edge properties will be aligned over here apart from that we have multiple tabs which we are going to see one by one as we'll progress in this series and here we have by default track selected also here we have our timeline and apart from timeline we have timeline controls and tracking controls over here as well as we are going to progress through this series we are going to see one by one right so uh, currently it's grayed out because we haven't selected any footage to work on so here we have a menu bar and beside menu bar we have multiple tools right which we are going to see in some times so first thing first we are going to click on file and and here we have new project if you have any save project you are going to open file as i'm assuming it's first day of mocha i'm going to hit on new project so as i'm going to hit on new project nothing will be active only one thing will be active which is choose and cancel so first thing first you need to import your clip so i'm going to import my clip and here i have my footage just what you want to do just select one frame and hit open so automatically it will detect what kind of frame rate you are having what kind of aspect ratio you are having and in views if you want to set your project for multi view projects you can go ahead color and advance i am not going to touch any kind of these tabs but i am going to only concentrate on this tab so automatically mocha has detected that my frame rate is 24 if not then you have to put it manual and yes everything is good over here and what i'm going to do just you want to save your file so just change the path i'm going over here automatically wherever you are importing uh, footage automatically your file will be saved in that particular folder but i don't want to save in footage folder just i'm going to class one and i'm going to make one file uh, folder and that will be mocha and i'm going to save my file inside my mocha folder rest everything is okay for me the project name will be van automatically it will detect and I'm going to hit OK. So as I'm going to hit OK, my timeline is active, my tools are active and few more settings are active as well. So as I'm going to scrub my timeline, as I can see, I have my camera movement and I have a very good footage over here as well. Right. So here I have control settings. I can jump to directly jump to last first frame. I can directly jump to last frame or I can play it. I can pause it. I can go one frame by frame backwards, forwards and play from current time. And here I have playback mode, which will be ping pong or loop or simple one side play. So automatically uh, it will be on ping pong mode means it will play forward and as it's, it's going to stop, it will start playing backward as well. That's what our ping pong is, right? So I'm going to stop it. I'm going to frame number first. Let's understand few nodes as well. Here we have save project or shortcut is control S. We have selection tools which we can pick or also known as uh, pick tool. And also here we have move inner and edge points together. Uh, you can move your points and you can move your edges together as well. If you want to add any points, you can use this tool. This is grab tool or pan tool. This is our zoom in zoom out tool. 
you can hold down Z, you can hold down Z and you can click and drag upside and down downwards. You can zoom in, zoom out or you can use uh, uh, this tool as well. So here we have create X spline tool and in X spline tool, you have multiple tools as well. So later on, we are going to see this is our magnetic layer means you can select as per your edges. We are going to see this in, in future as well. This is my area brush tool. You can paint any area and you can make your selection as well. Here you have a rectangular tool. So what you can do, you can select and you can create your rectangle and you can move that thing. You can select that thing and you can move. Just select your move tool. Uh, you can move one by one as points and you can you can do this as well. So later on, you are going to see that. And as I'm going to create any shape, as you can see over here, I have my layer over here as well. So if you want to rename it, just double click over here and you can rename it like mine, right? Something like that. If you want to delete it, just select or hit delete key or over here, I have delete button as well, right? So apart from that, we have a circular or elliptical x spline tool here we have uh, attached one layer to another if you want to attach any uh, layer with any other layer you can do this as well and multiple tools here we have, we have like rotation tool scaling tool transform tool and here we have track mesh tool and these two tools are very important you have to understand this is your surface planar tool or planar surface tool and here you have your grid right so we are going to use it and later on over here as you can see we have two more tools expand the planar surface and here we have show transform tool as well which we are going to use later most important thing over here i uh, we have a drop down menu called uh, classic by default is on classic basically it's a workspace if you want to work on essentials only you are going to uh, have this kind of interface if you're uh, going to use big picture you are, you will have this one if you are going to use a roto for roto you'll have this but right now i'm going to use my classic view as well right Apart from that, we have, we have uh, uh, sub tools as well, which we are going to see if you are going to use your RGB thing over here, you can use it. Uh, multiple things are there, which we are going to use it later. Don't worry. One by one, I'm going to explain it in a very detail. So if you want to track this footage, I'm going to hit Z on keyboard and I'm going to zoom it little. If I'm going to use middle mouse, I can pan it or automatically if you're going to see if I'm going to click middle mouse, automatically your uh, pan tool will be selected, something like that, right? So suppose that I want to track this surface. So what I have to do, how we can create our shape first. So for this uh, case, I can create my rectangular tool as well because it's a plain surface. Before starting tracking, you need to understand how Mocha works, right? Mocha is a planar tracker uh, software, it, which means it can track plain surface as well. And it's not going to track points. It's going to track whatever inside your shape. It's going to track its texture as well, right? So to create any shape, I'm going to create a X spline. I'm going to select it. I'm going to select it and I'm going to draw it. Something like that. Pretty basic. I can draw it. And to uh, close your shape, just you need to click right click and your shape will be created. Apart from that, if you want to rename it, just double click it and you can type a uh, first shape. Right. First shape. It's, it's okay for me. Now, if you want to start tracking, we have tracking tools related to tracking. We have tools over here, right? So I'm not going to do any fancy thing. I'm going to start tracking forward, right? This will start your tracking forward. Suppose that if your starting frame is last frame, you can start tracking backwards as well, right? Pretty simple. So I'm going to hit start tracking forward and let it track okay so as you can see over here my tracking has been done and i can see my track is almost good but one thing i would like to tell you 
whenever you're going to create shape we have a area where you can decide what you want to track so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this by doing this and i'm going to create another shape something like that as we have created earlier if you want to adjust your points automatically you can do it by hitting z on keyboard you can zoom it little and you can start tweaking your shapes right something like that and here by default i am tracking translation scaling rotation and shear right if i want to track only translation i can switch it off if i want to track translation but with scaling as well i can uh, do that if i want to track translation scaling and rotation that we have to switch it on or shear i can switch it on if you want to track perspective you can uh, check perspective as well and i'm not going to do mesh because it's a uh, little advanced topic so uh, later on we are going to see that mesh what exactly mesh is doing there is difference between shear and perspective right shear always works on x and y axis because if i'm going to do this means i am doing my shearing right i can do undo or if perspective because uh, it's perspective there will be z axis involved in perspective as well so there are difference between uh, shear and perspective right so uh, once this is done i am okay with what motion i am going to track i am going to hit track forward okay so my tracking has been done but it's not completed right because uh, you, if you remember i have talked about these two tools so first thing first we have show planar surface means where exactly your planar surface is right and another tool is your grid tool it will help you to understand if your tracking is sliding or if your tracking is perfect so what i'm going to do if i want to arrange my uh, planar surface i can use it i can just select one point and if i am going to move it as you can see my grid plane is adjusting as well means these two tools are interconnected so what i am going to do just i am going to uh, adjust my planar surface so that anything i am going to place it will work right so i am going to hit a z once again and i am going to zoom it out and if i am going to play it as you can see my grid plane is moving with the movement right so this is pretty basic tracking as you can see over here i am not going to do any uh, exporting thing and all because this is an introduction of uh, a mocha if you want to add anything just to check your tracking in a better way uh, here we have few more things like insert clip by default it's none if i'm going to use logo automatically your mocha logo will come i'm going to switch it off just to see what kind of tracking we are having the mocha logo will automatically placed over on on the location and we can just check yeah it's moving uh, well and good if you want to switch back to might be grid so your grid will come uh grid 16 by 16 it will come or mat layer so i don't need mat layer so might be i can use none nothing will be there and if i want to check with logo logo will be there so that's the basic thing you can you can try and you can adjust so there are multiple options are there which we are going to talk later and in next video we are going to see how we can export our tracking data for other softwares like after effect and new so i think for introduction this is it and in next session we are going to see much more things So if you think that this series is going to help you please don't forget to comment down below and of course this will be a full series of 10 to 12 videos where we are going to uh, see from scratch or from beginning to advanced stuff so if you have any suggestion also please don't forget to comment and if you think that this video or this series is going to help you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfx vibe signing off have a good day